This tutorial is going to focus on using the dissolve tool. I know that I told you you may not use it a lot in the future if you become a spatial analyst or have to use GIS in, in any format, any software, but it's good to know that you can do it just in case you do come across those rare situations where using a dissolve to aggregate your features might be helpful. And very simply what that means is if you go and open your attribute table, you'll notice that there are 83 different pieces of road, 83 different lines, polylines, and they all have a very similar, some of them share similar attribute values for the road type. Now we know from our assignment that there are only four different classifications of road, but if you wanted to boil this down into just a much simpler table, a much simpler layer, you could use the dissolve feature. So you go to geoprocessing here, dissolve, and you'll notice that there are green dots next to these input fields. And that means you have to have something there. It's the same for every tool that you use. So here, the first thing that you have is input features. And it tells you on the tooltip bar that these are the features you want to be aggregated. It's the features that you want it to be summarized. You can say it a lot of different ways, but you're going to select the one layer, the one feature class that you're going to simplify. Make sure, as always, you save it somewhere that you're going to be able to easily find it and name it something that is going to be easily recognizable. Tutorial Dissolve. Okay, here is the only tricky part for this. In the Dissolve field box, it says optional. If you don't click something here, it's not going to do anything or it's going to give you an error. Here, again, look in your toolbar for the help. You can click on here if you haven't, it shows help. It'll give you a few hints, okay? It says the feature class to be created that will contain aggregated features. Now if you click on dissolve fields, it tells you that the fields or fields on which you're going to aggregate. So that's just saying if you pick this particular column out of your table, it's going to look through everything and summarize based on common entries into your table like if everything that's a highway is going to be dumbed down into one set of lines for highways instead of 23 or how many ever it is and same thing for the city streets it's instead of two or three different sets of lines it's going to make one solid feature and you're only going to have one entry in your table so click on road type for this and just remember if you were doing this for anything else just pick the column in this area for which you want to summarize on is how to, that's a good way to remember that everything else is optional and for a basic tutorial you don't need, how, don't need to worry about it so click OK it tells you it's completed close you turn off your other layer and now if you go to the table you know it's been done successfully because you have a new feature class, a new shape file and you only have four entries, everything has been summarized but you still have everything that you had on your original layer. It's just much simpler now. So that is a basic introduction to how you use the Dissolve feature.